Hello friends, welcome to a new video in Java series. In this part, we can learn how to write our first Java program in an IDE. IDE is nothing but uh, integrated development environment. So you can install any IDE in your machine. I am making use of Eclipse IDE in this example. You can use any other IDE like IntelliJ or anything. So in our first video, we learned how to write the our first Java program using a notepad and how to run it using the uh, command prompt, right? But here we are making use of an IDE. So in order to develop any Java project or any Java, you I mean, to write a Java program. So usually the developers uh, will make use of some IDE, some integrated development environment because we will be writing more advanced features, right? So we cannot stick to any notepad or notepad plus plus plus. Uh, so we will be going with uh, some IDE. So I'm opening the Eclipse now. So you can install Eclipse ID in your machine. And here we need to choose a workspace for the uh, our project. Workspace is nothing but uh, this is the location where all your uh, project, all your programs, all your data is going to get stored. Okay. So we can select a folder. Click on this browse button and in, in your uh, PC anywhere you can create a folder or you can select any folder existing folder. Let me create a new folder. Let me give uh, go Java. And I'm going to select this folder. So all my uh, scripts will be stored in this particular location now. Okay. And click on this uh, launch button so that Eclipse ID will be launched. When you launch the Eclipse for the first time uh, with a, a new workspace, you will be able to see this particular window in your machine and click on this workbench. And this is the place that where we have to write our Java program. So let's write our uh, first Java program. I hope you remember our first Java program that we have uh, written uh, using a notepad and we compiled and we run it in through the uh, command prompt in our uh, first video, right? This was our uh, code that we discussed in our uh, first video, right? How to print hello world or how to print hello java right so the same code we can uh, write it in this uh, eclipse and let's see how we can compile and how we can run this code for that either you can click on this uh, create a java project or uh, you can go here click on file and click new button and then java project and here you can give your uh, project name so let me give some name Sample leaves, Java examples, and you can leave all other fields as it is. And you can click on this finish button. Uh, here it is asking a new module info that whether we need to create a module info or Java and all. So you can just do don't create, we don't need that. So the Java project is got created, and here you are able to see a, a JRE system library and a source folder. So source folder is where we have to write our uh, Java program and GRE system library when you open this you will be able to see many default libraries so that means we are ready to uh, write our Java program now so we have to create a class file right so uh, you can create the class file uh, media, uh, under this source folder but that's not the correct way of standard according to the standard what we can do we can create a package under the source folder and inside the package you can create the class file so how to create a package click on the right click on the src folder and uh, select new and click on package and here you can give any package name and there is some standard to give the package name as well but for now we can give any uh, package uh, like uh, let me give programs click on this finish button and now uh, right click on this programs and click on class and here we are going to write our program so let me give hello world 
so the class file is got created and now what can be seen in the class uh, the first line is the package line package and program so the programs is nothing but the package name so the uh, first line of any class file would be the package line okay uh, and then our uh, class structure will come public class hello world but uh, what if we create a class uh, directly under the source folder without creating the package so let's see that as well delete this uh, package and let me create the class let us give uh, some package uh, some class name test in that case you will be able to see a default package right there is a default package and uh, here there won't be any package line in this case but this is not the correct way of writing so what we can do i'm going to delete this class and i will create a my own package that is uh, programs and inside that we can create class okay may give hello world okay so our class is ready now uh, now we can uh, write our uh, code to print the hello world right so how can we write a code so in this uh, program we know uh, any program will start running from the main method or any uh, script of code should go inside the main method so first we have to write the main method so how do we use to write the main method in notepad we used to write public static void main right that is the structure of the main method but uh, in uh, ide uh, we will have many shortcut methods to write uh, like uh, the default features in java so main method is a default feature in java and we have a shortcut method to write the main method in uh, ID. You don't have to write the complete public static void main at all. Instead, what you can do, just type main, and from your keyboard you can press Control plus spacebar. Then you will be able to see this one, and then now you can click the Enter button. So you are able to see the main method now, right? Public static void main. And inside this main method, our print statement will go. Which is a print statement system dot out dot println and just like uh, main method here also we have a shortcut to write our uh, print statement just type sysu and do control space the uh, system dot out dot println is automatically got populated. Uh, now our file is ready to run right so our uh, first java program is ready but this is uh, the but the script is not yet saved so how can we save the script but how can you identify the script is not saved in eclipse id you will be able to see the star mark if you are able to see the star mark in your file that means the code is not saved with the latest changes you can save it using control s so it's saved now the star mark is gone now we can run the program so how do we used to run uh, the java code using command pro, uh, use uh, when we uh, wrote it in the notepad in that case what we did we have uh, a command to run the java program which is java c space file name and we have a separate command to run the java program which is java c space uh, java space file name right we have two different commands to run the java program when we make use of notepad and command prompt right but this is an id it's eclipse id so we have a, a direct way of running the program we don't have to compile the code before running the file because it's automatically compiled it's actually already compiled so how do you know if it is already compiled or not so we know when you are compile your uh, java code that time what will get created a dot class file will get created in your so, uh, in your project so hello world dot java it's a dot java file but when you compile the code there would be a dot class file also will get created which is called java bytecode and where you can see this uh, java bytecode you can go to the folder where your uh, java project is present so for that you can right click on this click on this shown in and go to system explorer expand it and here you'll be able to see java examples folder 
and we have a two folder here src and bin folder if you go to src you will be able to see the package name programs and you will be able to see the java code here which is hello world dot java file but now you can go back and open the bin folder open programs here you will be able to see the dot class file which is created when you compile the code this is the java bytecode so when it is create, created when you compile the code so in eclipse id as soon as you create the file or as soon as you save the file it is actually automatically getting compiled okay so when we created this file that time only this uh, got compiled and the dot class file is created and whenever you start inserting new lines the same thing will be compiled and it the dot byte code will be dot class file will be updated so it's already compiled right now what hap uh, what, uh, what happens if there is any error uh, in the script where can we see the compilation error so uh, let's make a uh, okay let us give double t over here so you can able to see a red underline right also a red cross mark here and as well here also and at the top you will be able to see the number of errors present in this particular class so what is the issue just mouse over on this uh, system so q you will be able to see system cannot be resolved in java there is nothing like a system having double t so we can uh, remove the compilation error we can revert it so now our system is our code is ready now we can run our file now in order to run our file we don't have to run any command or anything like that you can what you can do you can just click on this hello world dot java and just click on this run hello world icon okay i we have not given any printing thing okay hello world and let's print it so we are able to see hello world now right so in eclipse id this is how uh, not only in eclipse id any other id this is how you can compile and run your java code you don't have to uh, run the commands through the command prompt uh, it's automatically compiled and you just have to click the run button to in order to run your uh, code and to get the output so I hope you have liked this video and we will see in our next video. Thank you. Bye.